Welcome to Milk and Honey. This is after the hurricane and I want to say how we are so blessed that nothing, basically nothing happened to us in our area. Um, but I've seen places in Tallahassee that neighborhoods been wiped away and my prayers goes to those who have been affected by the storm and the hurricane. All we had was basically we lost power for maybe like 12, 14 hours. Um, my friend who actually lives like six minutes away from me, she still doesn't have any power. But she has a generator and she's running her freezers with the generators. But besides the broken limbs from some of my trees, nothing happened to us. I know I personally am thinking when or if the grid goes down, um, how can I myself be more prepared for this situation? And obviously, I am not even like 40% there prepared. All I can do is just keep trying and keep preparing. And if that time comes that stuff gets really bad, then it is what it is. I and mean, we will have to do as much as we can. The thing that I have to say is just get as much food, as much water as you can. Even if it's one week, two weeks, those one week or two weeks will give you time to think what your next step is going to be. And if you have like zero of water, zero food, then that means you are going to be so stressed out way at the beginning and you're, you're, you're not going to be able to think straight. Um, so give yourself at least two weeks of food and water. I know for me personally, I do not want to depend on a freezer and powering it with a generator. Um, I want to can as much food as I possibly can. And not just food, I want to have meal, like meal ready to go on a can. Soups, just hearty meals that are going to make you feel full. I I do have like apples and pears and you know like blueberry jam and that is perfectly fine but I want to have meal ready foods. You also need to have ways to prepare your food. We have propane tanks, we have wood and we also want to build like an outside kitchen um, like those old um, Again, I'm gonna go to my culture. In Mexico, they have like, those outdoor kitchens where you could cook with, um, with like a wood. But you also need to have the appropriate tools to cook in that types of scenarios. I have my cast iron pots and I also have, you know, like think you're going camping and you you need to be, be you need to be prepared in that mindset i actually want to get rid of this since we have the other stream i want to use all of the stone and i want to knock it down level it and build here my outside kitchen right here we don't have an abundant budget but and i know many of us don't but just do what you can like i said water and food are the main ones um, ready to eat food and we're gonna continue to have this crazy hurricanes crazy weather like I said we live in Florida but this hurricane went all the way to South Carolina went to Georgia went to Tennessee to Alabama so just because I live in Florida next to two oceans surrounded by oceans doesn't mean that you won't get affected by what happens in these hot waters that we're in right now and did you see there's another one coming and in the Gulf as well? My chickens did really, really good actually. So they did really, really well. This thing held up. Um, they were not wet. They look nice and clean and not muddy. Yeah, this has actually lit a fire and just get it done, get it done, get it done kind of um, momentum. Um, I'm actually deep cleaning my entire house. I'm getting rid of old stuff, um, clothes that are just nasty. A lot of people had a lot of th a lot to say about my Star Wars shirt on a video that I did. But um, like I said, I'm getting rid of everything. If the Lord convicts me on something, I'm throwing it away. I actually threw a lot of toys for my son, a lot of movies, a lot of books. When I came into Christ, um, the Lord convicted me of it. Um, if I feel any convictions, then I'll get rid of it. I have no attachments to it. Um, but I do want to say, like, I understand where people are coming from, obviously. I and mean, we know that aliens are fallen angels. But 
if something as a shirt is making you not hear the message behind it and i get it i i, under, I understand but to me it would be different if i had a straight up you know like a ouija board sign or like the the pentagram in my shirt obviously yes i would be like what's wrong two and two don't make you know one and one don't make two we really need to think why am i so distracted because like with my hair um why like it's humid as can be florida is 90 percent humidity no matter what i did to my hair it's always turns out like this there's going to be so many distractions around us especially now in these days and we need to get past those distractions and actually hear the message behind what somebody what we are saying what we are warning about anywho getting back to the garden um i was feeling a little bit discouraged not anymore i am preparing myself as much as i can there's things that are going to be out of our hands to make the best out of a bad situation here is my fallen tree and here is my roselle when harvesting roselle just wait look at how big this calyx is a lot of people like to harvest them like this small but if you wait if you wait you get these big clusters i'm trying to save seed also talking about being self-sufficient if you wait for the calyxes to be big enough save the seed the seed pods that are inside those are natural pectin so you can make your own jellies and jams without using store-bought pectin my bananas got shredded <laughs> look at this looks like a little hula skirt anyways i just want to make a quick video saying that we're fine and this just lighting a fire to get better prepared and i hope it, you do as well wherever you live just get better prepared and you seeking God and his wisdom repent and all shall be fine and just trust in God and his mercy and his glory okay all is well thank you for joining me see you guys next time